in terms of physical features i mean obviously uh, you have the typical features we call it the epiclinic folds the fold in the eyes and we have the uh, wide set eyes the slanting medial slant we call it the inner slant towards the nose of the eyes prominent tongue is a very important feature which is seen in quite a few babies the uh, face is square shaped and the back of the head is flat uh, so we call it a uh, brachycephaly in the eyes you may notice a brush wheel spots which are these white spots in the iris which is not often seen and the wide sandal gap or the wide separation of the toes the single uh, palmar crease the middle crease is single not double and you may have the bent uh, little finger called clinodactyly as well uh, the tongue may be fur furrowed i mean now obviously this is more seen in adults not in the babies so when you look at the genetics obviously uh what you find depending on uh, whether it is a translocation or it's a full trisomy so you can see the trisomy uh three chromosomes of the 21 or you may get a 21 22 translocation or a 12 21 so according to what the genetic finding is and uh, the mosaic type is where some of the cell types are affected some are not affected and some of the mosaic uh, chromosomal types are milder but the mosaic type of down syndrome only contributes to uh, 3 to 5% majority or non distinction type with the additional extra chromosome if there is a translocation in the family and one of the parents is a carrier of the balanced translocation the recurrence risk is high so in addition to the age related risk if the mother is having a child with down syndrome the risk of uh, further down syndrome in the family increases if there is no chromosomal translocation then the risk is uh, say 2 to 3% but if there is a translocation uh, then the risk goes up so this is a summary of the facial features so uh, i'm not going to repeat it because most of you are familiar with that uh, there is a specific uh, growth chart for children with down syndrome they tend to grow a little slower in the first few months because of their feeding difficulties but then they start uh, growing bigger with the weight the height growth potential is lower compared to the other children so it's better to plot them on the specific charts but if you plot plot them on the regular charts be aware that we need to adjust for these parameters you can get this online